almost like clockwork, one month after the second Android 11 developer preview dropped, we now have the final developer facing update before the beta phase opens up, which means we've been delving in to share what we think are the top new user facing features that don't need to be enabled. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. As part of the third Android 11 developer previews, we found that you can now dismiss any incoming notification from your notification shade. What that means though is that you can even get rid of ongoing notifications like music players and maybe screen recording apps, and they will hide within a new apps active in the background section within your notification shade. Naturally, this is going to be great for tidying up the clutter within your notification drawer, especially if you have a ton of persistent notifications clogging up your quick access panel. Losing an app because you inadvertently removed it from your app switch or recent apps can be really annoying, especially if you're in the middle of reading or viewing something. Thanks to the Android 11 Developer Preview 3 update though, you can now undo the mistake of closing an app by swiping down on an app card to restore it to your app switcher. Thanks to this latest update, you can now tweak the sensitivity settings of the back gesture on the left or right side of your display to your heart's content. That is if you use the gesture navigation. Naturally, this won't solve all of the complaints over the new gesture navigation that Google is pressing ahead with though, but at least you can access these new settings by heading into your system settings, system, gestures, system navigation, and then you can adjust the settings within the gesture navigation mode. The recent apps or app switch UI has now been refreshed slightly with far larger app preview cards, giving you a far greater portion of your display to see those in view. The gesture to access still remains the same, but Google has now stripped back the Pixel's smart row of apps in exchange for bigger app panels and some new buttons at the bottom. This change has come at a loss of the recent or suggested apps panel that has been replaced by a new screenshot and share button, which might be more useful to most people out there. A new screenshot UI is also now live in the Android Developer Preview 3, which is definitely reminiscent of iOS, but includes some added on-screen controls. The updated UI places the screen grab in your bottom left of your screen, with a floating share and edit button appearing momentarily before disappearing, giving you access right when you need it. So those are our favorite new user facing features in Android 11 developer preview three. If you have any of your own or have spotted anything new, then be sure to leave us a comment down below. It's also important to note that these are not all of the new additions in the latest update with some developer specific add-ons available, which you can go and check out in our full coverage via the link below. However, until next time though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.